What's going on guys and welcome to a Madden 13 online ranked gameplay from the PlayStation. And this is my new online uh, PSN and it is Don't Test the User. In the very first game, we go ahead and select the Cleveland Doodle -Doo Browns and we're going against the New England Patriots. Now this is my first game so I'm not expecting his... Uh, skill level to be too high, but he does have a far superior team. So, you know, that right there definitely is is in his benefit that he has such a high-powered offense. Defense, I'm not really worried too much. Except Will Fork on the draws, man. That dude's a beast, man. <laughs> that dude, you need like nine centers to go ahead and, and, and uh, block. His block shutting is absolutely amazing. That man will stop any run up the middle single-handedly. But... My offensive game plan, obviously, is to not try and throw the ball too much. Try and uh, start the game plan with Richardson. Try to run the offense through him. See how effective we can get him to be this game. And uh, to begin the game, he has the ball first. And uh, he neglects the run. Just comes out passing immediately right there on a nice little comeback. Bring it to second and two. We stop the run right here. So now it's third and two. He drops back. And I'm sorry, son. Don't test the user. He's so disrespectful. Respectful. Somebody, please give this man a link to my channel. Let him know. Did he not see the name of the person he was playing against? Don't test the user, son. So our very first possession, we come out with we didn't throw a nice little pass right there. Get it to third and five. You know, manageable third down. We back up and we hit him with the screenplay. We go to Richardson and we just sneak by the first down to continue our drive, moving the chains. And then we go to Richardson outside. This kid is an absolute monster and uh, I'm really looking forward to the roster updates throughout the season he should continue to progress and I see him getting as high as about 87 by the end of the season you know maybe even a 90 you know I think this kid is that good you know if they put some blocks in front of him he, he's he's definitely a monster right there we drop back and we get a touchdown and we end up scoring on our first drive so we're up 7-0 to zero and Whedon has not thrown an incomplete pass yet so, so far, so good. We're mixing it up. We got a good balance of run and passing plays, and we're doing both effectively. Right here, he does his own screenplay, and he gets a really good uh, gain right here. Gets about eight yards. Uh, nine yards, actually. So, next play, he drops back, and he goes, and, oh, hits our guy in the head. No awareness whatsoever. Tries a draw play, and we stuff him like a turkey on Thanksgiving Day on 4th and 4, and a punt. I'm seeing this more and more, and I'm really, really liking it. You know, I really appreciate, you know, people who's going to go ahead and punt. Right here, we come out in a wild cat. We fake the handoff, and we're gone with Joshua Cribs. We take it, well, to the crib. <laughs> we take it to the house, and we end up scoring. So we're up 14-0, to zero, and all we need to do is play semi-good defense, and, you know, we can be able to deliver ourselves a victory. Now, again, I definitely feel like I'm more skilled than he is. You know, that's what happens when you start a new name. Like, um, it's going to take a while for me to rank up, but... You know, he has a really good team, so I'm not expecting to just shut him down. You know, he is going to be able to make plays eventually shoot uh, sooner or later. You know, that offense is way too good just to be able to continuously shut down. We hold him to another punt just as the first quarter ends. Try to make something happen with Joshua Cribs. Breaks one tackle, but he ends up getting stopped right there. So second quarter, we try, you know, let's try the Wildcat a couple more times. You know, it worked last time. We end up switching it with Richardson right here, and we don't get nothing. So third and 11, we drop back, and we're looking. We go to the right to the screenplay, and I knew right before I was looking through the plays. I'm like, you know what? If I call a screenplay and I get a first right that first down right here, he's going to be pissed. <laughs> so we end up getting a first down. Run to the right with Richardson. Good game right there. Second and two, we drop back. We're looking. Whedon has yet to throw incomplete pass. He's throwing really good. We get it to Richardson. Get it to third and inches right here. We try the Wildcat with Cribs. Nothing shut down, so... He holds us to a field goal, so we take a 17-0 lead, and we get ball back at halftime. But again, I am just waiting for this offense to click together. You know, this offense is just too good, no matter who's using them, to be able to just shut down. So Tom Brady backs up, and we end up getting a sack with Ward right up the gut. Right here, drops back, and he hits us with the screenplay. You might hear my baby <laughs> telling me to open the damn door right here. I'm trying to do a commentary, son. Give me a minute. So he drops back, and he goes back-to-back -back screenplays right there, and he breaks the tackle in the backfield and starters over the first down marker right there. I definitely feel like we should have been able to stop him. Right here, he runs up the middle, but we end up getting a user hit right there. And uh, he goes up top. I really thought that right there should have been a pick, but 
Uh, Walker ends up just, ah, man, that right there was just a crazy catch. I don't think Walker is even capable of that, but he comes down with it. Uh, right here, we end up just uh, have this running back backpedaling. Third down and go. Tom Brady backs up, goes to the left, and ends up scoring a touchdown. So he, he's kind of back in his ball game, you know, and we do have 30-some-odd seconds left to make something happen, and we get ball back at halftime. So if we can score here, get ball back, and score again, you know, game's over at that point, I believe. Right here, I didn't mean to run out of bounds, but I had all these white jerseys in front of me. I couldn't really see where I was going. And Whedon goes up top to Trent Richardson on the street ground, and we score a touchdown on our first play. So we end up scoring another touchdown to go up 24-7. to And now I just feel like, okay, um, this game is pretty much over, hopefully. <laughs> you know, as long as we don't do nothing too crazy on, uh, on defense and, and just start giving them scores, you know, like crazy, making mistakes on offense. This game is pretty much ours. He goes over the middle right here. You know, 10 seconds left. He calls a timeout. Right here, I don't know why. Like, he had a play right here to the right. We stop him. And he does not call a timeout. He did not call a timeout. Why? I do not know. <sighs> Thankfully, he could have at least kicked the field goal right there. But we received the ball with a huge lead. So now we're trying to, you know, kill the clock somewhat. You know, run the ball a little bit. Keep the ball on the ground. Or when I'm passing, keep it short. You know, just to keep the clock moving. You know, I, I don't want to give him you know, incomplete passes and stop the clock because I'm doing him a favor, so I want to keep the clock going. Right there, Whedon again. Oh, right there, what are you doing, son? <laughs> what are you doing? Eat some dirt, son. Look at that juke move. That right there was beautiful right there. We got a nice little juke move. And he's hitting my quarterback lady like a dirt bag. So right now we are in scoring range right here, and again, Whedon has yet to throw an incomplete pass. This dude is absolutely carving up the defense. Again, we are mixing up our play calls very, very well right here. We call a play action, and we got uh, Massaqua open, but he stops us just shy of the first down, fourth and one, so we take our three points, and we end up uh, going up by 20 points, so we give him the ball back, and again, I truly feel like this offense is just going to be due. You know, whenever I'm going against the Patriots, I expect to have difficulties on defense because Tom Brady is such an amazing quarterback with great receivers and tight ends. Right there. Oh, man, if he caught that, I would have been mad. But he takes a vicious hit, and he ends up dropping the ball. Run play right there. Kind of catching me off guard. Definitely not expecting any runs at this point. But he gets it to third and, so, you know, short. Goes for it, and we stop him. So we got him to a fourth and one. He calls a play action. Runs outside of the pocket. Wide open all the way up top. He ends up finding uh, his wide receiver, and he scores a touchdown. You know, so there there was a broken play i don't know i definitely had a safety over the top and a deep blue watching anything going up top but maybe he, he uh fell for the play action i don't know but you know again even though we got a decent lead we can't you know play stupid we got to play smart we can't go ahead and just give him back the ball with opportunities to get back in this ball game and as you can see man whedon is throwing perfect passes every attempt right here third and six we try play action i thought maybe i could sneak him off guard but i don't so fourth quarter here, he receives the ball back, and he's down two scores. So one score here, it's it's a one-possession game. And again, anything can happen at that point. So uh, we're kind of struggling a little bit here in the second half. We just start dolphin diving when everybody can go ahead and and uh, waste a little bit more time. Right here, he drops back. He goes over to the right, and our guy's right there. But again, no awareness, have himself, doesn't react to the play. And he gets it to almost midfield, and Tom Brady is throwing good passes right there. Uh... I thought it could have been an interception, but it gets knocked down. Tom Brady rolling outside the pocket, rolls to the right, and just throws it just as he's about to get sacked. Third and ten, he draws back. He's looking for the screen play, and that right there gets shut down. So we got him to a fourth and long at this point. So to keep himself in the game, he has to go for it. He goes over the middle. He gets it, and he's hit forward. He was The tackle started about two yards behind the, the first down, but he fell forward, and that right there was frustrating. But not as frustrating as this must be to him. He ends up fumbling, and we get the ball back. And we got Whedon right there. We throw a nice little pass to Richardson just to keep the clock going, you know, playing safe. Run the ball right here as, again, trying to keep the clock moving. You know, the more TikToks I hear, the better it is for me. Right there, Whedon finally throws his first incompletion of the game, fourth and ten. So we punt the ball, but we were able to waste, you know, a good amount of time. Right here, we start dolphin diving to waste some more time, waste a good, you know, four or five more seconds doing that. And, again, he's in desperation mode, so I'm expecting him to, to go deep. So I'm definitely playing some zones. Got some deep blues out there. I'm trying not to get beat over the top. I'm expecting him to, 
You know, go deep right there. I see the route. We change into the cornerback. And no soup for you, my friend. Two piece. Oh, we definitely react to that right here. We do a play action and we catch our receiver wide open. And um, uh, we get a first down right there and gets us in good territory right here. We try the play action again. This time we run. We're reading and gets a good amount of yards right here. And uh, right here after this play, I believe I uh, get a first down to end up uh, kneeling it to uh, seal the victory. Uh, right here we go to Smith right here. We stay inbounds. And look at this dirtbag play by the Patriots. Look at that. Look at that. I knew the ball and then you hit me up. That's such a dirtbag move. They are so disrespectful. Look, I'm now. Come on. Can we get a penalty? Can we get a late hit? That was vicious. That right there was just a dirtbag move. But we end up winning our first game. And we're very, very, very excited about that. So, so far, we want to know. And um, I'm looking forward to bringing you guys great PlayStation gameplay. So, so far, again, we're 1-0. And, and um, again, we're playing exclusively on the PlayStation from now on because I don't have my Xbox 360 game. I loaned it to my brother. But as you can see right there, we're 1-0. And, uh, and uh, we won with the Doodoo Browns. So, as always, man, thank you for your time. I truly, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch one of my videos. As always, it's your boy GS trying to bring you the best daily entertainment. I'm out. Peace.